Life is so enormous that it has no meaning. If there was a meaning, the moment you found the meaning, it would be over. But you can't finish off life like that. You write a million books about it, still it is ever expanding. <laughs> so there is no meaning to life. Meaning, very rudimentary me minds in the world are always trying to explain life off as this or that. You can't explain it off because it contains you, it is you. Everything that you discover is just a small aspect of it. Whatever meanings you give it to, whatever definitions you give it to are just your notions about it. Life is far beyond meaning. Life is beyond meaning. And that's why it's so beautiful <laughs>
So anybody who cannot afford to have that, we consider that poverty. So what's poverty in one society need not be poverty in another society. So this trying to have a world view of common sense of poverty, saying that uh, if you earn anything less than ten dollars per hour, you're poor, I think is an improper way of looking at the world. I know in South India, if a man earns two dollars per day, not per hour, he can live well, he can live reasonably okay. The kind of prosperity that we are talking about, our standards of prosperity are completely unrealistic and ecologically unsustainable. So this idea of poverty and prosperity needs to go through a lot of change. This is, I come from a culture where people have chosen many times, not now, many times to be consciously poor by choice. This is a culture where kings have chosen to walk as beggars. So poverty is not necessarily in terms of whether you have a car to drive or not, whether you have a big house to live or not, that's not so. Definitely the world is poor because in spite of all this wealth, in spite of all this comfort and conveniences that science has heaped upon us, still people are living joyless, still people are living not knowing how to live. We know how to go to the Mars, but we still don't know how to live on this planet. That's definitely poverty.